Hello, this is Sound Out here, back in another vlog. I actually am doing another vlog. Um, yeah, I changed it up back here. I cleaned the other half of my room and thought this would be a little bit better place to film a vlog because it's not so crowded and if I bump into something, I won't cause the DC Universe apocalypse. So I'm working from here now. Um, but you see, I got Common Rider posters and a Transformers poster up, so yay. Um, I'm going to show off the collection part at the end of this vlog. Uh, this vlog will be two parts today, which is Friday, and Monday, which is the other box plus the collection. And that will be this vlog. Um, but anyways, as always, uh, expect more DC Classics reviews, because i got a few of them edited. Uh, i got to edit some more. I've got four Ranger Keys I need to do a review of, so, um... Let me know in the comments if you want to see Gashapon Key Set 2 and Candy Toy Key Set 2 in the same video or as separate videos. Let me know. So let me know below, okay? Um, if it's separate videos, there will be three in one and one in the other. And if it's one video, it will be four altogether. Um, I've been buying stuff lately, so those keeping up with requesting DC Universe Classics reviews, I have now added Star Sapphire Carol Ferris, Sinestro, and Gahoo, who's actually not a DC Universe Classics. He is a Movie Masters. I'm getting all the Movie Masters now, so I'm thinking of reviewing them all, starting with Gahoo, because he is the first one that actually came out. So, um, expect a review of Gahoo sometime after I get the others. Because I'm seeing the movie this weekend, so I'll have knowledge of the movie and how the characters are in that, and I can do that review. Um, and I also bought the Lantern Launcher because it's a good replica of the Lantern and it lights up. And if for fun it turns into a gun. But I'm probably not going to review this. It's just kind of a thing that I got. It, it shoots discs. It's not. It's really cool though. I would recommend this to Lantern fans. It works as a nice back piece to the Movie Masters line. But anyways, it is box time, so I have here a little package from WB Collect on from Toy Art, or WBCollect.com. They have fantastic prices on DC Universe Classics, so from here we have DC Universe Classics Copperhead. Um, Copperhead was part of Wave 12, which was the wave that included uh, parts 2. Let me get him out here. To Mr. Darkseid here. So, I now have his head in his crotch. Plus his, uh, left leg from Iron. So I got these parts of him now. Um, and so you'll be seeing that. So Copperhead is also up for a request review, if, um, if you want. If you want to see a review of Copperhead, which looks pretty cool. Um, if you want to see a review of Copperhead, he is up for review. Nice thing about WB Collect, I paid $5 for Copperhead, and I got everything, including the button. So that is awesome. Uh, this next box is from Amazon.com, which you probably can't tell it's Amazon, but we'll see as I open it up here. But anyways, yeah, Amazon, uh, they have great prices on stuff, and I love ordering things when I can get free shipping. Because that means I don't have to pay shipping. And I can always spend $25 on Amazon. But anyways, um, let's get this out of the way. We have here the Spectre from Wave 12. So that gets me one of its... What part does he come with? I don't know. He comes with one part of Dark Side, which I believe is the arm with the killer glove thing. So that's really cool. Um, so the Spectre. And we have... Mary Batson slash Mary Marvel, whichever one I call her Mary Marvel. Um, in a red dress, that's kind of interesting. Um, there's two versions out there, red and white. If I get the white one, I'll have a dark side torso up for sale. But if I don't get the white one, then I'll say Because I know I can get white ones. But, but yeah, there's that. And finally, we have Movie Masters Not K. Loy, um, who is the fourth one. But, you see, the first three are coming from Toys R Us, where I got them for, for, for $10 a piece. So, I, I just went again and got this guy for 12 
But yeah, these these two, uh, Mary Marvel, Mary Marvel and the Spectre, were ten dollars a piece. I believe they still are. So go check if you want uh, these figures. They are going for pretty cheap. Um, and if you want free shipping, find something else too. Cause, but yeah, always double check, make sure it's eligible for cheap free shipping. Like this, the stuff I ordered Friday of last week, and it's here in a week. And that's the slowest shipping method possible. So that's not bad, considering I got the fastest shipping method possible at Toys R Us, and it's still not here. Uh, but anyway, this is my second movie master, so I'm really excited. Um, so it says, complete assembly requires purchase of 11 movie masters figures available through 2011. That's the parallax thing. There's 14 pieces, but 11 figures. That's kind of interesting. But yeah, I'm planning to get all the movie masters. I'm working on getting, I have Abin Sur on the way, I ordered it from a website um, that was just selling him, so I got Abin Sur on the way, he'll show up someday, but yeah, and then I'm still working on getting Green Man, Sinestro, Osama, Cole, and Krona, uh, not planning on getting Masterless Hal Jordan, unless Biz is actually that big of a deal in the movie, um, if I can see him in the movie, then I might want to get it if it's on sale, but, but that is my, uh, set haul for now, um, let's fast forward to Monday. And it is now Monday, July 25th, so the month's almost over, which means I have to go back to school soon. I bought Cyclotron from DC Universe Classics Wave 13, so he's up for review now. If you if you want to see a review, I might review him anyway, because he's got like a really cool face gimmick. And anyways, so it's finally here. I've been waiting all day for this. I've been up since 8 in the morning waiting for this package. And it's finally here. So I'm opening it. This package came from, if I'm not mistaken, which I hope I'm not, uh, this did come from Toys R Us. I, I stop caring where my stuff comes from. I just I just order it, and then it arrives, and then I'll put it on, on displays. But speaking of which, there will be the displays over here um, once I put stuff in there. Yes, this is from the Toys R Us. There's the Invoice of Evil, <laughs> and here are the toys. So we got Green Lantern Movie Masters, Hal Jordan, Rotwap Fan, and Tomar Ray. Um, or as he said his name in the movie, Tomar Ray. <laughs> you said it really fast. And because I spent more than $20 in Green Lantern, I got a free 4-inch figure, so I got Green Man. So... Now I have Kilowog, Max Charge Kilowog, the Early Bird, Hal Jordan, and Green Man. I got them because I don't know if I'll get the Movie Masters one. Um, if I can find one that's less than $40. Um, but yeah, there is Green Man, who looks kind of neat. I guess. I don't know. I really... It was free. <laughs> that's why I got it. But yeah, so that is that. Um, so, well... Um, so anyways, keep requesting more DC reviews. I'll show it off one more time at the end of this video. But anyway, let's go on to the collection. It's Monday, August 1st. Whatever happened to this vlog going up uh, that last time I did a part of this vlog? Yeah, I got busy with uh, Bandcamp. And I got a bunch of stuff in the mail. Um, first of all, uh, yeah, the collection part will be coming right after this. I redid the collection, which is why I could not post the vlog because I redid everything right after. So, um, before we get into the giant pile of boxes here, let's go over what I bought recently, store-wise and such. Okay, uh, so first of all, let's see, Thursday last week, I went out to the comic store, and I got Superman, Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, Green Lantern Sinestro, Recovery Suit Superman, The Flash, and Bizarro, who is actually from DC Superheroes. So that was really cool. And that didn't cost me very much. So that was really awesome. Then I went to Walmart and I bought Todd Rice from the Walmart Wave 14. He is pretty cool. And I also bought the Hot Girl and Gentleman Ghost 2-pack. Um, I figured I could pick up Gentleman Ghost's body parts he came with later for less than buying a Gentleman Ghost. 
And this morning I went to Walmart because uh, they're apparently having this new in cap deal. Um, and they didn't have very much. They had three rows of stuff, but it was almost all gone. And I was there at 6.30 in the morning. Anyways, I got um, Badge, Deck Star with the Desktopless. Um, which is the last Green Lantern Classics I really needed for Wave 2. Um, I still need to get Nightlike and Nut Kaloi, but, I mean, I can get those anytime. I also got Wave 18's Toy Man. This is the only Wave 18 figure they had, so that made me a little sad, because I was expecting to get, uh, I was wanting to get Bronze Tiger and, and Captain Boomerang as well. Of course, all the way eventually, but Toy Man's pretty cool. So I got him. And finally, I got Batman Legacy Golden Age Joker. Um, I'm not going to pick up the Batman or the Mr. Freeze. The Batman is basically the Batman I have already with the angry head from the Sinestro Corps version. And the Mr. Freeze, I can't find a single comic panel with him in that color scheme. Um, and that color scheme is awful. But the Joker, he's all Golden Age. And he's awesome. This is, this is really cool. So, expect a review of these two very shortly because they're brand new. Um, and that is good. So that's basically what I expected I wanted to find, um, for sure. But anyways, on to the boxes. This is from Amiami. This is my Amiami July box. Um, oh, I did get the, uh, Ankh stand set, uh, in with, from HLJ. Uh, that's that Ankh hand that has all the alternate hands. Um, expect a posing montage soon. By the way, I should explain that posing montage trailer I posted would have been posted today, which is Monday. This vlog is going up on Tuesday. That trailer is for my posing montage. I'm not doing figure art reviews. I'm terrible at them. When I did take a black and black Rex, it was almost 30 minutes long. So what I figured was, well, since Rider Changes Rambles is redoing things so that we don't double up on reviews, I get to do posing montages now. So that means you go to the trailer video, in the link will be the dis in the description will be a link to the Rider Strangers Rambles page that will have the video of the posing montage. Now this way, I don't have to use Incompetech music, I can use any music on that. So I can have some more fun. Uh, so expect it, a trailer and then the uh, posing montage for the Ankh stand set soon. Um, I will have a review the fancy figure that's in this box. So we got weird colored paper. We got Ranger Key Set 4. Uh, thanks to Shukin Shinobi, I was able to get this. So, thank you, Shuki. And Ranger Key Set 5, which has the gold anchor key. So, thank you, Shuki, again. Um, I haven't really watched Ami Ami lately, because Shuki's been able to order things, because he's that awesome. Finally, something I did order myself was D-Arts Meta B. Um, he's a lot smaller than I thought he'd be. Oh, he's really cool. Here's Meta B. Um, I love Metabart, Meta, <laughs> Meta I love Metabots. I have the series on DVD. I've been watching it in anticipation for this figure. I am really liking this, how this guy looks. Uh, it does say Metal B. Um, that's that's appropriate. This is really cool. <laughs> this is a really small box for him though. But I like how the shape of the metals. I'll, I'll I'll definitely review this guy. Expect a review of Meta B. Um, for sure, expect a review of him, and then the posing montage um, will be on Rider Adventures Rambles. So that is very cool. I am really excited to open Meta B. Uh, Lex box. I don't know who this is from, so we're just gonna see what's inside um, and hope for the best. I don't even know what this is from until I open it. There's no return address. I can't find the return address. It's not cutting. Damn it. Erg. Stupid knife cut. This is a very weird box. Oh, I know what this is now. This is... My Cephalozord! I finally own one of these things. Um, I was not willing to pay 100 I was not willing to pay 65 I was willing to pay 55 though. Shipped. And here is Cephala himself. Um, stay tuned as I will be doing Megazord reviews. Um, something very special. So expect that. But oh gosh. By the way, this guy was Japan exclusive and he's kind of hard to find. Um, if you can find him, he's always going to be expensive. I finally found one that was in my price range. So 
Hold on, there's something at the door. I have another package to open! <laughs> Thank you, assistant that does voices for my videos. Queenie 15! Okay, that was Queenie 15, my voice actress lady. Okay, this is... This is my uh, Transformers Collector's Club Sideburn. Um, I know this was really random and sporadic, but I did not know this was mine, so... This is my uh, Sideburn. I might review this guy. Um, I've done the other club exclusives, I might as well review this guy. So, before Toy Man and Joker, expect a review of this guy. Um, let me let me say that right away. Anyways, yeah, that guy showed up. Okay, uh, back to the Cephalozord. So, let me just double check. I'm going to double check and make sure this is all here. Okay, I know I'm getting off track, but who cares at this point? This guy, this guy is really cool. Look at him, he's adorable. And he's got, like, a neck punching axe. Oh, there you go. To roll his crotch. and it... This guy's really neat. So, I finally have completed the Dino Thunder Collection. I don't count the Brachiosaur because that thing was tiny. Um, but, yeah, I can't wait to get this guy um, onto the thing. Now we have an extra Cephalus Sword plate. Yay. Alright. Now that that random occurrence was aside... Let us go on to the final box, which is really freaking heavy. This one is from WB Collect, the guy that I keep buying things from all the time. I mean, I bought Copperhead, and um, I bought... What else did I buy from him? I bought Sinestro Batman and Copperhead from this guy. Then I spent a bunch of money and bought all of this. So this should be fun. So, let's see, what do we have here? All right, here we go. So, we have... Let's start from the top. We have Wave 10's Robot Man um, with the Imperiax piece. So there's Robot Man. Um, we've got Martian Manhunter. Martian Manhunter. And he's got valid as parts. These all have their parts, so I'm going to stop saying they have parts. Uh, here is Blue Devil. These were mock originally, but to keep the price down, he opened them up. We have Dissod from Wave 12. We have Wave 8 Parademon. Uh, the green version, I like the green version, so I went with the green version. I'm not going to get the red one. Uh, we have Cheetah from Wave 13. It's the variant with the clothes. We have the Jaime Reyes uh, Blue Beetle from Wave 13. I'm really excited for that. And we have Sodom Yat from Green Lantern Classics. Uh, so now I just need the legs for stealth. And this bag, we've got... As soon as I get him out of here... And he fell apart. Okay, hold on. Yes, his arm just fell off. Don't worry, don't worry. Here's a little teaser. We have Wave 4's Collect and Connect figure, Despero. Complete. Uh, he's got every single bit. He's got all his guns, including the little gun that clips onto the back. Which, I don't know how it clips on, so I'll just leave it off. But we have Despero. And, from Wave 10... We have another complete Collection Connect figure. We have Tiny Imperiax, um, whose head did not stay on. <laughs> okay. There is Imperiax from Wave 10. So this means I can get the rest of the Wave 10 members uh, loose, because I, I did not have any parts of this guy. Um, I'm going to figure out why his head's not staying on, but let me tell you something. This guy was $30. This guy was $25. That is a fantastic price. The rest of these guys range from $5 to $10 each. And so WB Collect, thank you. You have uh, given me you have given me great prices and I have so many DC Universe figures. I don't even know what to do with them now. I mean, my shelves are going to be crammed basically. Uh, but anyway, speaking of shelves, I'll let you transition over there. But first, how many DC figures did I get? In this vlog alone, 
we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Came up with my new vlog title. Count the DC Universe 1, 2, and 3. Anyways, let's take a look at the collection. Alright, so now we finally get to do the collection part of this video. As you can see, I got a Dark Knight poster on the back of my door. And a Gilkadger poster up there. With the wanted posters over there. And calendars. And a polar bear. And the Gilkadger Ranger keys. And then you can go over here, and you see I got stuff, like posters of Garo and Ultraman and Kamen Rider, and uh, all the Rider Bottle Cap figures that I have yet to review, plus the Robot Heroes from my collection that I have from Transformers, the Titanium figures, and all the buttons that have come with my DC figures. And the box of DC card backs, plus the box for Gentleman Ghost and Hot Girl. Looks like I left that there. Sorry. Anyways, yeah, that's the box that has all my DC card backs in it. On the closet door, we have the Transformers Prime poster with Prime and Bumblebee. Um, we've got the Kamen Rider posters here, the rest of them at least. And we got the poster that came with Batman Legacy Joker hanging up there. Uh, the Toy Story guys are sitting in the closet. Um, along with the Transformers collection. So now I got all this empty space on the floor uh, to, to hold giant Mickey in, in my Krios, which I have Optimus Prime, Sentinel Prime, Bumblebee, and Megatron. I do plan on reviewing them, but it's going to be something special. Revil Gary is just chilling out back there. Up here's my Transformers that were $40 or more. That's a lot of them, isn't it? Do the math. Anyways, uh, here's my Retro Fire Megazord collection which overtook the Mighty Morphin 2010 collection. These guys are so much cooler. Um, do you want to see posing montages of the Retro Fires? Let me know in the comments below. Also over here we have Masterpiece Voltron on the back, the only one I need. I don't need the Mattel version. Um, and you have the Shinkinger uh, Mini Plaws and the Gokaiger Mini Plaws. Plus the Kuriko Chons, the Batwoman Bust, Big Guy and Rusty, Mega's XLR, and Sideburn, who I got in the mail. Um, here is the movie memorabilia collection that has fallen over figures. I'm sorry. Giant Jack Skellington bus, the transforming DVD cases, some masks and statues, and a crystal skull. Um, and then a bunch of little figures that have come with DVDs over the years. Plus a couple of DC Direct statues. Here's the Green Lantern Movie Masters display. It has all my Movie Masters in it. Ooh, it lights up. <laughs> it's a lantern launcher, not an actual replica thing. You know, got Rop Up fan and all that. They're all chilling out there. Oh, this is a random shelf. You've got the three D Arts Digimon that I own. I'm not getting BLZ on at this time. A man that's made of magnets. And the Naruto figures and Naruto Filler and Hellboy. Plus the extra DC figures that I have that aren't in any comic, so they don't count. And Fing. And a turtle. Anyway, here's the Samurai Collection. It's the Samurai Collection. With all the Power Rangers Samurai stuff. The Tron figures. These are the three and three quarter inch ones. But they still light up, so they're awesome. This guy is bright. He's like a flashlight. And the collapsed Marvel Movies Collection. Yeah. Anyways, that is all of the Marvel toys that I own that I'm putting on display. And I'm not a big Marvel fan. Uh, my common Wing Knight that's been signed by Matt Mullins. I did not actually meet him. I just won this in a contest. Those are the Mighty Mugs over there. And my graphic novel, trade paperback, and manga collection. You might notice that the only manga I own, well, not the only manga I have here, is Yu-Gi-Oh! 
Here's the thing. Yu-Gi-Oh! I used to be obsessed with the show and the card game. Then I saw the manga. And I was like, the show's crap. This card game's not really fun. This manga is fantastic. And I would definitely recommend reading it. Um, it's certainly awesome. Uh, you can see you got the original Yu-Gi-Oh! there. Plus Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel List Volume 2. And Volume 16. I know I'm missing a few. Yu-Gi-Oh! R, which is fantastic. And Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium World Volume 4. I don't know how I ended up with these uh, random volumes for those. Uh, this is a Godzilla comic that needs to go in those boxes. But that's a Godzilla comic. And I got... I'm going to go through all this. Batman Under the Hood. By the way, I might do some comic reviews if you guys want me to. Batman Nightfall Part 1. Batman Nightfall Part 2. Batman Chronicles Volume 1. Batman Chronicles Volume 2. Batman Chronicles Volume 3. Batman, the greatest stories ever told. Ultimate Spider-Man, Venom. Ninja Turtles, The Secret of the Ooze, Adaptation. Transformers Movie Prequel. Transformers Movie Adaptation. I was obsessed with the first Transformers movie for the longest time. The Transformers War Within Omnibus. A Batman Returns Movie Guide. The Program to Ace 2011. My TV magazines. My Spider-Man encyclopedia. Transformers: The Fun Fantasy of the Fun the Future. And lastly, Batman: The Ultimate Guide to the Dark Knight. And the Hulk: The Incredible Guide. So now that we've toured this section of the room, let's. Zip on over to the other one. Oh, look at that. Yeah, someone built some shelves, didn't they? Yeah, I helped. Anyways, uh, the, the Cybertron poster and the DC poster moved over there. Anyways, I have now on display my entire DC Universe Classics collection. Uh, starting with the... I'm just going to call the Justice League villains. Like, the DC Universe villains, all right here. The DC Universe heroes from Flash over here to, to Blue Devil. Then, the Superman characters with the Superman logo, uh, including Toy Man. And Cyclotron's there, because he was programmed by Superman. Then the Batman heroes, which are all there. Batman logo. And then the Batman villains, which I got the Golden Age Joker to hold two card sets. But it goes all the way to the corner. Then we have the lantern shelf. I did add some stuff since the last video. I kind of went to Walmart again. Um, but you got Badge and John Stewart and Hal Jordan and Kilowog and Sodom Yat uh, with the Green Lantern logo. Cat Matui, Sinestro. The new additions, not Kaloy slash Metaphil. I'm posing him as not Kaloy for now. Stell, uh, which was the Collecting Connect for Wave 2. Uh, Sinestro Core over here now, Sinestro. Batman and Cyborg Superman. Star Sapphire. I apologize, I did not put the logos back up. Because I had to move them. Star Sapphire. Uh, Carol Ferris. And Red Lanterns, Nightlike, and uh, Deck Star. That's crooked. Uh, anyways, all these figures are up for review, basically. Aside from the ones I reviewed already, which you can see on the channel. And if you request something that I've already had requested... It won't be in the video because I filmed all the requests already. Anyways, now we have the Kamen Rider display. Um, there is that Ankh stand set with the epic popsicles. O's, double, whose antenna is fixed. Yay. Um, black, new Dino, black RX, Dragonite Riders, Shinkin, red, Shinkin, gold. My tripod, my lamp, my shade. And finally we have my desk which has my little calendar. It has D-Arts Meta B, who is admittedly four inches tall, but he is awesome. Uh, the extra rings that aren't with the other figures. By the way, Flash has his ring, because so I'm awesome like that. Godzilla and Munchlax, and Captain Jack Sparrow, 
and the Shogun Battleizer. Anyways, I'm going to leave you on this epic picture of Meta B. Expect the next review to be... Okay, expect History of Megazords Friday. Um, that's when Episode one's going up. And after that, it's going to be every Friday will be a new episode of History of Megazords. Um, or, or so, 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 I, every Friday, I will do a new episode of History of Megazords until I finish that set of Zords. Once I finish that set of Zords, I keep a couple weeks off, then do the next set. You'll see how it works. Um, but anyways, expect Meta B to be the next review that's not History of Megazords or Opposing Montage. I expect a review and opposing montage. Ooh, I'm doubling up. Anyways, uh, be sure to check out RidersRangersRambles.com for token news the crazy way possible. And request away on those DC Universe figures. I'd love to review all of them. I'm going to review all of them eventually, but you guys got to let me know what you want to see. So anyway, I talked to this out saying goodbye.